Today, we are giving you, I guess you, the viewer, an upgrade, right? Discounts is an upgrade for you. Hello? New camera? This thing's been broke for a minute. It's actually been broke for the majority of the year. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but we never used the mic. We had like a Rode mic that we used on top of the camera. I destroyed the mic input because I would toss the camera around in like taxis and stuff, so sorry. The camera itself worked just fine, but as you remember, we're using this camera, not this camera, because this camera's been broke. So today, in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading the camera, and then I'm gonna call in and get the free one set, which will be back in like a month, so I'll have an extra camera. Giveaway, it's a bad idea, but like, yeah, I'll probably just keep it as an extra camera. Speaking of giveaways, I think we will be doing a giveaway, but for Pokemon, let's go. And I think that that should be the focus of today's video. Um, I don't know exactly what we're talking about today, but I wanted to talk about pretty much everything that we know about Pokemon Go, but not just Pokemon, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go, I meant to say Pokemon Let's Go, I just woke up. Everything that we know about the Pokemon Let's Go game, along with unboxing our Nintendo Switch, which I have not had, or I've had unboxed for like months now. For Pokemon Let's Go, I accidentally ordered an extra Pokeball Plus, so I will be doing a giveaway on that. I'll announce the details probably next video or on Twitter. Also, I Amazoned uh, Pokemon Let's Go, and it's set to deliver on Friday. I think I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to GameStop today while we get a new camera and buy another copy of Pokemon Let's Go um, so that I could play it like the second it drops. Um, or the second I could pick it up and, and play it so I could get videos out for you guys really, really early on Friday. But this week is busy because of Pokemon Let's Go. But we need a new camera, we need to hit our streaks, and we need to get Pokemon Let's Go along with Dayquil because I ran out because I can't get over this cold, and some coffee. <laughs> Now, I don't know if, like, taking a lot of this over a long period of time does something to your liver, like, destroys the lining of your stomach, but if it does, I'm in trouble. Okay, so while we're just chilling here with some coffee, ah, uh, it's hot. We're going to, uh, fun fact, well, fun fact in a second. Fun fact while we have, well, <laughs> we're gonna hatch some eggs, I'm gonna drink coffee, we're gonna learn how to speak again. Egg number one, shelter. So I, uh, up until about, I'd say like a couple weeks ago, I couldn't drink a coffee or anything caffeinated without like getting anxiety or having a panic attack. So <laughs> this is new. I'm finally like slowly getting back into uh, drinking coffee, which is really helpful because I mean, coffee is really helpful. It was a massive part of my life. Not a good thing. I'm also gonna put you on top of my coffee. Now, so I don't forget to do this today because we're not going to Santa Monica. We're not gonna miss our streaks. Wait, wait, two day streak on the spin. Is my streak in catch off? If it is, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Two day, nice, okay. We're good. So yeah, Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go. What is, uh, what happens between the two games? What can you do if you have Pokemon Let's Go in Pokemon Go? Also gonna get the stamp, because I will forget this as well, as we did on the 12th. It, nice. Right now, as far as we're concerned, uh, I mean, the biggest thing that you get from uh, integrating Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go is gonna be Meltan, but it's gonna be not just Meltan, but the, the Wonder Box, it's called. We talked about this before, but the special thing about a Wonder Box is its description. It doesn't say it, you know, gives you Meltan. It doesn't specifically mention Meltan, which makes me think that in the future, for future Pokemon releases or new content drops or, or something, but more so Pokemon releases, uh, we might see the introduction of certain Pokemon Pokemon into Pokemon Go through the Wonder Box, uh, like for just random stuff. I don't know. Give an example of a cool Pokemon in Generation Four, Five, or Six that doesn't have an evolution, isn't going to be a regional, but could be released in a fun way. That could be brought out through the Wonder Box and Pokemon Go from Pokemon Let's Go. So if you guys are considering getting Let's Go, I'd say it's worth it. I've read a lot of reviews. I've watched a lot of gameplay of it. It looks pretty fun. It looks like a pretty solid game. Unfortunately, I'm not being paid to say that, <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely excited for it because. I mean, we're gonna play on the channel. We're gonna live stream it. I might live stream it again I might live stream on Twitch because there's a lot of playability in Pokemon Let's Go and I want to talk about that too But that we'll chat about in about three. I don't want to wait here. Is this, is this worth waiting for? Level four, definitely not. Okay, <laughs> we'll chat about that probably back at home because I need to get drinking on this coffee I need to get editing yesterday's video and I want to eat some breakfast I've actually decided to change the focus of today's episode. Because Pokemon Go Hub has posted an article talking about the evolution items and the evolution stones in the Pokemon series compared to their involvement with Pokemon Go. And for the first time in a while, I almost completely disagree with the entire well thought out argument and article. The article was coming from more of a hardcore Pokemon fan perspective. I'm obviously, with Pokemon Go being my first ever Pokemon game, uh, I'm coming from a not hardcore Pokemon fan and player perspective. So for all my hardcore people, just know that, that 
I guess I'm not on your side technically, but like we're, we're playing the same game. But like my take on it, my view on it will be more the logical side, the longevity of the game side, the uh, mission statement of Pokemon, like the, the, that side of it. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Uh, I need to go pre-order Pokemon Let's Go at GameStop and I need to buy a new camera. And I wanna talk about all this maybe with the new camera, probably not, but like at some point with the new camera. So this thing, for, well, rest in peace this thing, but we're gonna get we're gonna get a new one of this thing So this whole topic change that we had today actually works out perfectly because there was a, a just an absolute spew of information and Updates from Pokemon go like an hour ago, which tends to always happen whenever they do something It's like it doesn't happen like one thing at a time. It's like everything at freaking once so that was intense, but basically the brand new item, the Sinnoh Stone, what we're talking about today, or kind of talking about today, is now live in Pokemon Go. You can get it actually like right now. So we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk more about exactly how to get that and the update itself and all the Pokemon that are now available in Pokemon Go. But let's go buy this camera first. Got it, more specifically. Got it. So we have a new camera. Um, we're gonna go actually go get Let's Go right now and log in real quick. Oh, and here it is, by the way. Here's the C details. The Hatchathon highlights Pokemon with evolutions discovered in Sinnoh. So that's the big thing here is Pokemon that evolve into Generation 4 Pokemon. So Pokemon like Rhyhorn, Porygon, and Magby will now be hatching out of two kilometer eggs. You can get the shiny still. I think Badoo was reported hatching out of two Ks as well. Also, shiny Elekid is now hatching also out of two Ks. So it's uh, it's a big event, which is cool. And actually, Along with that, there's there's like a lot of things happening in this event, which we're going to cover more specifically But I, I want to go back home first and use the new camera to talk about that But I wanted to sort of briefly go over I mean, we're gonna talk about the Pokemon Go Hub article and kind of like the specifics behind it um, But I want to just kind of give a more brief explanation because it was a big thought-out article And there's a lot of news to cover along with talk about that but before that we need to go get Pokemon Let's go Eevee because Pikachu I don't like you Okay, so we did pre-order it, and we can't pick it up on Friday morning at 10 a.m., which is nice, because I don't know when uh, Amazon's gonna deliver. So I'm gonna have two copies of Let's Go Eevee, basically. So I'll give one copy away. The Amazon copy, I'll give that away, but again, we'll announce that in tomorrow's video. But Friday morning, we got to uh, Let's Go. Okay, so insane cluster right here. There's a lot that spawned in. There was a Del Caddy as well, but it's it's like right there. It's a Caterpie, though. Yep. So about the Sinnoh Stone, obviously like, you know, the biggest argument, I guess, is keeping the game simple, keeping it as simple as possible. I'm sure Niantic went and looked at the numbers of how many people actually ended up getting the evolution items and evolving to the evolution item Pokemon in the first month of them coming out, in the first week, in the first year, all of that. I'm sure they looked at all of that and realized that this probably isn't the best way to go about releasing new items and new Pokemon and new evolutions in the game. There's a rhyme and reason to every decision that has ever happened in the world of development and of gaming. Literally, when you look at the screen right now, every little thing that you see was specifically coded and designed to be like that. Even more so goes into functionality, especially when things come like, you know, evolution items like that stuff very, very, very methodically th developed and thought of and it's strategically done. So I'm sure, I mean, obviously we'll probably never know because I don't think they'll ever share that information, but I'm sure on the back end, just like technically, strategically speaking, using all, what, eight, six, eight, 10, 12 different evolution items in Pokemon Go, it would make it too complicated. It would make it too hard. It would make it a game that you couldn't really play casually and still get all of the stuff, right? Because with the Sinnoh Stone, the Sinnoh Stone pops out of your research breakthrough box and possibly out of seven day streaks. When Niantic does that, it guarantees that each person will get the evolution item, the Sinnoh Stone. Maybe not every single week because if, you know, you have to play every single day and some people don't do that, but people will always at least get the item. And with the one item, you can evolve to several different Pokemon. Now you can't evolve certain Generation 1 through 3 Pokemon to Generation 4. There's a list of just a couple that you could use the Sinnoh Stone on that you can get right now. Now actually to this tweet, Nick had a really great rep 
reply that I think he deleted. Wrong tweet. It was this tweet that Nick had a great reply to. Problem. It's different than the main series games. Solution. Stop comparing everything to the main series games. I think it's been long enough for us to realize that that isn't what Pokemon Go is meant to be. Couldn't have said it better myself, Nick. Pokemon Go is a different game from the main series. Again, I've never played the main series, but I could kind of understand what they are and how they work, and I could very much so understand how and why Pokemon Go is a completely different game with different mechanics and a different mission statement behind it. Pokemon Go is all about the adventure. It's all about going out and exploring your surroundings. It's less about the hardcore strategies and grind. Unfortunately, I mean, it would be great to have more of a hardcore and uh, depth aspect in Pokemon Go, but that just isn't how it is. So this is the Pokemon Go Hub article that talked about their, basically their opinion, Pokemon Go Hub's opinion on the evolution items, and then all of these items right here, these what, two, four, six, eight items that are not going to be included in Pokemon Go, but these are the eight different evolution items for this kind of wave of, uh, of Pokemon coming out here. Ten items, sorry, ten evolution items. And then they gave some problems and solutions regarding these ten items. One of the complaints was making it easy using a Sinnoh Stone instead of these ten items makes it too easy to obtain each Pokemon. And I mean, to that, I, I say it's, you know, you get one Sinnoh Stone a week, right? So it does, it's easy, sure, it's easy to obtain these Pokemon, but like, you could only evolve essentially one per week, one Pokedex entry per week. And even with that, you might have a shiny Murkrow and a 100% IV Murkrow like Prodigy's Nation does, and you have to wait two weeks to evolve each which, each of which two Honchkrow. So yes, these Pokemon are a little bit easier to get, but I think that's the idea here with Pokemon Go. It's not supposed to be ridiculously hard. Another solution was to make it an alternative item. Basically, you would spin these items out of your seven day streak or maybe get it out of your research breakthrough box and then the Sinnoh stone you would get and it could evolve to any of the evolutions but you would get it rarely even then it would just be too many items in a pool and the Sinnoh stone would be too rare and it would be way too difficult to get all of the evolutions again you would have to evolve you know one per week and if you're just spinning a freaking electrozyzer or a dubious disc or a dawn stone if you're spinning one of those for three weeks in a row you're gonna get discouraged or annoyed and you're not gonna complete the pokedex and then the final solution was to just completely get rid of the Sinnoh stone and use these ones instead and i mean I, my argument i guess my, my side i've said already and then the overall verdict was basically saying that this update kind of sucked that the Sinnoh stone stuck sucked and that it should be taken out. And then the evolutionary stones, which they talked about here as well, about the Eevee evolutions, um, I agree with this to a certain extent, right? We should have had these maybe just for one day for the freaking, or the weekend for community day. Where the hell did the sun come from? I agree here. I do agree with this one because, again, we this stupid Pokemon here made us break our phone. And then regarding the evolutionary stones, they were basically just saying, you know, why do some Pokemon get it while others don't? Uh, to add all of the evolutionary stones to make things easy by adding all the stones and then making them easier to spin out of stops. This sun is actually pissing me off and it's ruining the lighting. And then basically saying that evolutionary stones were a complete failure in the Pokemon world uh, and that all of the stones should be added so all of the evolutionary, all the Pokemon that require evolutionary items should require them in Pokemon Go. And then they list the, the ones we have now, obviously we have Upgrade, Dragon Scale, Metal Coat, King's Rock, and then Sunstone. And then now Sinnoh Stone. And their final verdict was just kind of going over everything. So, uh, again, I agree with a lot of the things that Pokemon Go Hub talks about that they go over, but this one I just was not in, uh, not in compliance with. And again, I'm not sure how valid my opinion is on this entire issue because I never played the other game, so I don't understand the evolutionary items to begin with, but in my opinion, with how Pokemon Go is as its own game, I think that how they did the evolutionary items and the evolution stones, it works fine. And I think that it should stay this way, and I'm pretty sure they have some probably analytical reasons why they are not using all of the evolutionary items and evolutionary stones. Maybe we'll see them in the future. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but in my opinion, that's kind of my take on this whole thing. So let me in the comments, guys. What do you think about the whole evolutionary item, the evolutionary stone argument, we'll call it? The evolutionary item debate. Oh, also, Yanma, as you can see, doesn't take the Sinnoh Stone. Some Pokemon don't. And that is what we're going to talk about next as I, after I catch this Delcaddy. What are the Pokemon you can evolve to with the new Sinnoh Stone? How to get the new Sinnoh Stone? What it looks like? What the evolutions look like in Pokemon Go? And uh, everything else about this massive update and everything else that was announced uh, today. And we will explain that using the brand new camera. Oh my gosh, we're back with a full rig. This feels weird for me just looking at this because it's a real rig. Look at this. Look, we've got everything's back. We've got the camera. We've got the mic. Dude, I haven't had a mic on my camera in like over a year. This, the lighting's good, right? Like I can't, I can't remember how to use this camera correctly. Wow, quality difference, definitely. And we're freaking back with this. Okay, let's talk about everything that was a part of this brand new update that came out today. I'm so happy that I could do this again, man. I'm excited to have the camera back. For one, Meltan is here in Pokemon Go. Now, you might be wondering, how do people already have Meltan when Pokemon Let's Go comes out 
on Friday. That's because some gaming retailers accidentally gave the game out early. They're pirated versions of Pokemon Let's Go. There's certain ways that people got this in game right now, but it's not like shouldn't be officially out, but it is. And then obviously some people got the game early due to like industry stuff. So Basically, Meltan in, for select people is out right now in Pokemon Go, and this is what it looks like. I mean, we know what Meltan looks like, we've seen it. The Wonder Box, once you trade a Pokemon to Let's Go, you get a Wonder Box, and it lasts for 30 minutes, and you can use it once per week. If it works like an Incense, which it, it does, it incenses the Meltan, at max speed that you walk or bicycle or you know, slowly drive while your passenger catches for you. One Meltan should spawn per minute. If you pineapp each Meltan and you use the mystery box or the wonder box once a week, it should take ballpark around six weeks to get your Melmetal in Pokemon Go if you're like really keeping up on it. So just know that Meltan is here. Melmetal is obtainable. It is 400 candies to get Melmetal, which is why it would take six weeks of like really on top of it grinding. So. That's in the game, and it will be in the game for everyone coming on Friday when Pokemon Let's Go officially drops. Now let's talk about the Sinnoh Stone, which we have talked about extensively today, along with the Pokemon that you could evolve to with the Sinnoh Stone. And the list reads Magmar, Rhydon, Porygon 2, Murkrow, Mistrevis, Sneasel, Roselia, Dusclops, Togetic, along with Electabuzz, and Gligar, too. And when using the Sinnoh Stone, I'm gonna like try to rotate through some of those Pokemon, just like screenshots in game that I've gotten off of Twitter. When you use the Sinnoh Stone, it is a 100 candy evolution. So once you get the Sinnoh Stone, you get one, you can get one per week out of your research breakthrough box, but there's been some instances I've been hearing uh, here and there where a research breakthrough box was opened and the person didn't get the Sinnoh Stone. Also, really quickly, an official statement from the absolute homie Liz over in Niantic regarding the uh, the Sinnoh Stone. We have heard reports that trainers are receiving the Sinnoh Stone from research breakthroughs. We are excited to see what else trainers will discover as they continue to explore Sinnoh. There will be more ways to get the Sinnoh Stone in the future. Stay tuned to our official channels for updates. There's going to be more ways to get the Sinnoh Stone, so it's not going to be just out of the research breakthrough box. And again, there were some reports of people opening the box and not getting a Sinnoh Stone. So who knows, maybe it's gonna be through seven day streak, maybe you can get it through special research. We're gonna have to see, but just know that the box is not the only way to get a Sinnoh Stone coming soon. Also the CP change update has went live, and as you can see, I mean, Pier 2 at 4159, Groudunzo at 4097, Mewtwo 4059, so like the CPs were changed. Uh, and Mewtwo was buffed the heck out of. We now have three Pokemon over that 4,000 mark, and then our Blissey has been knocked all the way down to, I wanna say 2,500 CP. It was at 3,000, now down to 2,600 about. So Blissey just got rocked, and a lot of Pokemon got brought up. There's like, we'll go over in a future episode which Pokemon got hit how hard, or just basically which Pokemon get hit the hardest when it comes to CP, whether they were brought up or down, talk about that later. Also, apparently Pokemon Rhyhorn, Porygon, Togepi, Duskull now only need 25 candies to evolve. So that candy count was brought down for those guys. So you now can evolve to 11 brand new generation for Pokemon using the Sinnoh Stone in Pokemon Go. Now guys, let me know in the comments, what are you getting first out of these 11 Pokemon with your Sinnoh Stone? It's a tough choice because it's 11 weeks. It's 11 weeks to get all of these Pokemon, and if you've got a 100% of one and a shiny of the other, you gotta pick one of the two. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the whole Sinnoh Stone debate. I'm totally for the Sinnoh Stone. And again, let me know what you guys are gonna get first. And if you guys already evolved to a Pokemon using your Sinnoh Stone, let me know, uh, tweet me, tweet it to me. And stay tuned for the Pokemon Let's Go giveaway along with the Pokeball Plus giveaway coming very soon to the channel, probably in tomorrow's episode. But yes, guys, that was today's video. That was the news. Hope you enjoyed, and good luck on your Sinnoh Stones. We'll be getting ours in a couple of days, which I'm excited for. And yes, new camera hype. Finally, we have upgraded. Not Well, I guess not really fixed. I guess we did upgrade. We finally got the new one, so we're, uh, we're back, and we look like official vloggers now, which is great, so that's fantastic. All right, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.